What's up? Wes Clark here, one half of the Clark Brothers and co-creator of the new series, Groupie, now available on Tubi. I'm here right now with four easy steps for you to enjoy this series and support your boy at the same time. Step one, download the Tubi app. You can find it in the Play Store, the App Store, or even on Roku, Fire Stick, or any other smart TV. Step two, go to the search bar, type in the word Groupie. It should be the first movie that shows up. Step three, enjoy the show. And step four, make sure you like, add to your favorites, and share with your friends. You make it sound so easy. Because it is that easy, Sydney. So go out and support your boy. Check out Groupie, the blueprint of a self-made millionaire. Are you ready to take that step? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you may be. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Once again, icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. We're going to get it started off with the girl, Chloe Bailey. Now, Chloe Bailey, after I told y'all that that last song wasn't going to work, y'all wasn't going to support that either. As much as y'all made the girl go make a record she didn't want to make, and... Y'all didn't buy y'all didn't stream it, you didn't buy it. Just it just proves my point. Well, she's dropping, she uh, put out a, t a teaser of a new song. Now, this song is produced by Hitmaker. So y'all can't tell me the beat ain't gonna be hot. Uh, it actually sounds like he took a sample from the Usher song. I forgot what song it was, but the Usher looked like he took a sample from it. So this happened from that song. And um Chloe Bailey singing. Now, if you don't if you remember, Hitmaker dropped a demo of this a while ago. And it had Chris Brown and Meek Mill on. So a lot of people are speculating that this song is with Meek Mill and Chris Brown. Or did they remove Chris from the song, which I hope they didn't. Now, we have heard before that Chloe was interested in doing something with Chris Brown. And there's some people still out there. They're going to use this as another reason to hate on Chloe. They're going to say, oh, we would have supported it. But she put Chris Brown on it. And he is a, you know, he's an abuser and blah, blah, blah. They're going to continue to use that. You know, anything to go against Chloe and to stop Chloe from shining. I don't care what anyone says, this little snippet, I heard of this, I'm like, okay, this is fire. Chloe is a talent, is, is one of the most talented artists out there right now. And regardless of what she does, people just want to see her fail for whatever reason. It's the weirdest thing to me. And most of her haters are black women. And you can't tell me any different. Go look at all the comments and all the profiles that are putting hate comments underneath this girl. If she would have did what, what, what Holly did this weekend and supported some dude who's obviously DMing other girls, everyone would have been saying, oh, she's stupid. Oh, she's this. She's that. But, but it was Holly. So everybody's coming out of defense. Oh, well, you know, oh, we're going to defend Holly or this, that, and the other. So. This girl, this teaser, I don't know whether the song is still with, got Chris Brown and McMill on it, but the song sounds fire to me. But of course, people will find some reason not to like this song as well. So, you know, they have it made up in their mind that they want Chloe Bailey to fail. She went and put out a record. Everybody said, oh, oh, yeah, we want you to do R&B. Oh, why are you always talking about sex? Oh, why are you always showing your body? She just put out a video where she wasn't showing her body and she wasn't talking about sex. And people still didn't stream it. So you can't tell me that is not purpose. They're not purposely sabotaging Chloe Bailey because they want to see her fail. 
and it's sickening. Moving on to Ice Spice. Ice Spice just got, you know, look at the crowd, the way they reacted to her when she went to New York. Man, you, you, you would think that it was Marilyn Monroe out there. Ice Spice has really got the crowd behind her. Look at, look at her hometown crowd. She had to be lifted up and carried. Um, you know, Ice Spice has the hometown going crazy. She also responded uh, about the drawing that Northwest made of her. She responded about that drawing. She said Northwest is so talented. She said, thank you, North. And then Ice Spice proved what a star she is becoming. She got hacked. <laughs> so like every big star, she got hacked. Someone hacked into her account, was putting all these nasty things. Her Spotify as well. Hacked into her Spotify, hacked into her um, Instagram. And they were putting stuff like, oh, there's a Drake sex tape coming out. I'm dropping this Drake sex tape, and she was tagging Tommy Hilfiger, who she just recently met. But Ice Spice is, um, I mean, doing exactly what I told y'all would happen, right? She's becoming a star. She's the one that people are getting behind. The industry sees what type of uh, response they're getting from her, and they're saying, mission accomplished. Now we're going to push her. I told y'all girls out there who weren't dropping music, you better drop some music because this girl has catchy tunes. No, you know, not necessarily great. They were laughing at Ice Spice when she first dropped Munch. And I, when they were laughing, I told y'all, what did I tell y'all? Go back to the video. I said, don't laugh. This girl's going to catch on. So shout out to Ice Spice. Now, here's the thing. Bia... Then uh, dropped a teaser. Write this song. What do you mean when you give me your word? I want our future to be as a hers. I cannot bring them the things I deserve. You tell me right and I saddle up. Weighing me down with your baggage up. Don't have me turning my savage up. I don't care what is this mad at us. Keeping it real. You got some trauma, I think you should heal. I got some reasons to fail, I fail. I say a prayer and he's taking the will. You know I'm favorite, he keeping me safe. Can't let just anyone be in my space. I know a lot when it's said to my face. Why would I get attached? When I know that you love a chase. Uh, fuck it, I love you, I'm doing a race. Now, the moment I heard that, I knew exactly what people were going to say. And this is where what I said uh, comes true. I knew exactly what people were going to say once this teaser dropped. Everyone started saying, she is trying to be like Ice Spice. And in case you think I'm just making it up, and so people come on, I didn't see anybody talking about that. Just in case you think I'm making it up, making it up, take a look at this. And this is just a couple. The timelines are filled with them. Now, everyone is saying Bia is trying to copy Ice Spice. B has been out how many years? And I've never been a B a fan, of, but if you listen to Ice Spice's style, it's very similar to B. B has been rapping like this forever. I've always considered her boring, a boring rapper. And when Ice Spice first came out with Munch, her flow was her delivery was boring as well. But the difference between Ice Spice and B is the same thing that people criticize Chloe Bailey for. Ice Spice throws sex appeal, she twerks, she th throws her sex appeal on her delivery, so it uh, makes people not concentrate so much on her delivery. But Bia is known to be boring, she's not very sexual, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, she I, I guess because of that boyfriend or whatever, or maybe she's never been like that. She's not very sexual, that people say she's bland, she's boring, 
but Ice Spice is, is using almost the same delivery, but she throws some sex appeal. She promotes sex while she's doing that. She'll twerk on her ass. She'll show off her boobs. She'll rub on her boobs. So that's really the only difference. But as I said, Ice Spice is the new thing out. Somebody in here said, I, there, there was some people saying, oh, Bia been rapping like that. But the majority of those comments said, Bia, it's a no. You're trying to sound like Ice Spice. And I'm sure Bia will be throwing back some shade soon. Like Bia, <laughs> she takes pride in, you know, letting people know that she writes her bars. You could tell by just in that little clip how she's making her little faces and, you know, acting out her bars. She's going to catch wind of these people saying that I guarantee you there'll be some sort of shady subliminal tweet. So you let me know. Do you think Bia is trying to copy Ice Spice? That Ice Spice impact is hitting. Where y'all girls at? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.